Welcome to the F1 2024 Italian Grand Prix predictions. I'm Sogan and today I'm alone again. Unfortunately, Aegis couldn't quite make it for this one. Here we are for the Monza Grand Prix. Once again, the Italian Grand Prix. I'm really excited for this one, despite the Monza didn't quite bringing, uh, not quite bringing the most exciting races uh, over the last few races there, but yeah, maybe it could bring a banger once in a while, as we saw in 2020, 2021. Yep. Um, okay. For this one, I have prepared predictions, and I have Ajax's one on my phone, so it should be fine as well. So, um, first off, the couple of news that are important to mention. The first one, the big one, the Logan Sargent being dropped for... Uh, the remaining remaining nine races and is being replaced by Franco Colapinto, Williams Jr. That's in the P6, I think, and F2 standings at, at right now at the moment. So, yeah. Um, one second. Okay, uh, that's it. That's changed. And Logan's unfortunately dropped by Williams. Um, it was it's pretty much a, a very 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 likely decision that i personally expected it to be a different driver um even in schumacher i expected it to be more likely than called pinto i personally hoped for liam lawson but unfortunately well, unfortunately for her for franco it was him and uh well, my opinion doesn't matter here uh franco deserved uh, a chance by his team obviously um i love teams bringing their junior drivers and giving them a chance at formula one um, it wouldn't make sense for Williams to give the seat to Lawson, like when it comes to Lawson being on the grid next year, that's very likely. And they would pretty much just develop their, uh, rival prospect. So not the quite a smartest move there. And obviously, uh, Mick Schumacher was rumored to be in that seat. Yeah. I don't think this one would work out. They would replace the crash prone driver by another one. And uh, yeah, Williams definitely doesn't need more crash damage and more more cost cutting injuries there. Uh, they need a well. They, you can't really say a rookie would be a safe pair of hands, but I haven't tested it out. And yeah, they know about Mick Schumacher's past. But yeah, Franco Colpin. I think in this case, they made the right decision logically. I don't think they're better picks. Um, when you take all the things um, combined, so yeah, good for for Franco there, and uh, exciting to see what he can do in Monza and Williams because Williams uh, is historically a good car around this track, uh, thanks to its regular speed. It doesn't seem to be as prominent this year, but still could be be a advantage for them. Um, second news, obviously, for our bringing the. At least the new driver overalls. I don't think the a new livery is confirmed yet. I think they maybe just changed the driver overalls and published new merch. Oh yeah, those overalls, yellow and black. I mean, you can never go wrong with that combination. It looks great. Not quite perfect. There, the, the checkered flag couldn't be just could just not be there. That would be even better. But still, um, I I love every single combination of yellow and black. Uh, even the I mean, the HP blue doesn't look too bad on it because they have blue, yellow, black. That's the best combination of colors in uh, in the world. So, yeah. Um, thank you, Ferrari, for for uh, pleasing my eyes a little bit. Um, other, uh, any other news? Yeah, Antonelli is in for FP1 for Mercedes. It's pretty likely to be confirmed this weekend for a uh, for an F1C next year as well. And. Yeah, it could be that could be the case, definitely. Um I think I didn't haven't missed any other news. Um looking at it. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay. We can get to the predictions for the Italian Grand Prix with me starting first and predicting a qualifying Lando Norris pole position. Uh that's the same for HX. He put the uh, Lando in pole position here as well. IP2 is Max Verstappen and uh, this is Oscar Piastri. So 
Ajax believes in the McLaren domination on this track. I think this track could be very specific in terms of pace. I think it's going to be this time actually close. I don't think McLaren will be as as dominant here as it, as it was in Sandboard. This track doesn't have many corners. It's a lot of straight line speed stuff. Um, I don't, I don't think generally McLaren is the best uh, best car for the straight line speed, uh, but I still will be there. There's no doubt about McLaren being stronger in the track. I, I don't think anyone thinks that McLaren is not going to be good here. I just I feel like it's going to be much closer than we all think. Um, P3 for me is Charles Leclerc. I actually think Ferrari will do well on this track, not quite well as last year, obviously with the one three in qualifying, this time it's still be pretty pretty decent uh, for their home Grand Prix. Ajax's P3 is Max Verstappen. And my P4 is Scapiastri. So and so my McLaren's in the top four still. P4 for Ajax is Charles Leclerc, so he believes Charles could be in the top four as well. So our top four is pretty much similar, just the, the other three changed, not the north and position stays. My P5 is Carl Sainz, and uh, Ajax put George Russell there. Um, I, I don't know how to feel like about Mercedes this weekend, specifically. They were very quick and... Uh, in Silverstone and in Spa, both very high speed circuits. But this one is just straight line speed, couple of corners, a couple of chicanes. It's just, I, I don't know which, if it really suits the Mercedes car that much. Maybe it does, I don't know. Um, but we'll, we'll see, obviously, we'll see. Um, Grand Prix. Um, I should have started from P5, but this time I will. P5 for me. Is Scapiastri uh, actually going down from his qualifying spot? Probably a bold one for me, but I'm, I'm going with it. Um, I don't think McLaren will be as dominant as he's on board, making all meaning Oscar can be even further down the grid. Um, uh, for Ajax, it's Carlos Sainz, so he believes the Ferrari can be good here as well. Um, my P4 is. We're seeing this correctly, yeah. Uh, Max Verstappen for P4. I don't know what was I thinking when I made these la uh, last night, but <laughs> okay. Uh, now that I think about it, it's probably very stupid to put Max out of the out of podium, especially after starting P2. But uh, yeah, I, I'll go with it. I already made the prediction, so so let's go with it uh ajax put charles leclerc and p4 so not a ferrari podium unfortunately for the whole grand prix but still a p4 or p5 is a good amount of points for a constructor championship my p3 is carl Sainz. yep carl Sainz and p3 on the podium uh <laughs> i'm probably very 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 delusional as I normally am when it comes to Ferrari on on important weekends for them. But I mean there are two race weekends in the entire calendar when they want to do well. It's Monaco and Monza. And I just kinda of believe that I would expect Ferrari to not be good at Monza. Uh just it just has to be. Like this is the one track they want to win every single year. Doesn't matter as much for the championship. Like I think they're Prioritize, prioritize being good in, in Monza over any other circuit on the calendar. And I think this one could be for them. B3 for uh, Ajax is Oscar Piastri. So, uh, so, Piastri dropping a place from qualifying as well. My P2 is Lionel Norris. And this is probably when, <laughs> when the delusion really kicks in because uh, what am I doing with my predictions? I have no idea. Uh, P2 for uh, Ajax with a mo very much more likely one Max Verstappen. And my winner is obviously Charles Leclerc and Ajax. This is Lionel Norris. I'm losing so many points this weekend. I don't care. I'm just going with it because of vibes. And uh, I already kind of lost this championship. I don't think six points is that easy to overcome, especially if Ajax always. It's just so much better at predictions this year. I don't know how he does it, but it's just it's just better. I mean, I have to admit it. Um, yeah.
I'm just going bold because you never know when you're going to hit those. Okay, fastest lap. Um, I see that AJ hasn't put a fastest lap in his predictions that I haven't checked. So uh, that's my bad, I think. I haven't reminded him. I'm going to give it to driver I think he would put, and that would be Lando Norris. And uh, I'm going to give it to Max for Stappen, I think. And you never know when Max gets fast slab. It happens pretty frequently as well. And if my prediction is completely overturned and Max dominates the, this, this race and gets a fast slap, I mean, that's a win for me, I guess. <laughs> All right, least impressive team for uh, for me. It's wait, well, let me think about this. Aston Martin, definitely. Uh, Aston Martin. I think they really struggle in the straight line. Uh, that's pretty much their main weakness when it comes to their car. It's not the greatest in in terms either. But when the when the track it doesn't have too much straight line speed, it. The Astons can show some uh, little bit of pace, like we saw in, in Hungary and in uh, in in Netherlands as well. So uh, I think this this trend will not suit the Aston Martin whatsoever. This impressive team for HX is the Alpine. So uh, going by the logic of them having the slowest engine on the grid, I think Alpine will do all right. Not great, but I don't think they will be on the last row of the grid. I just uh, don't feel like that will be the case. Just, just, just don't. Uh, I feel like Alpine is a decent car in, in the straight line despite their engine struggles. I think that car is like certainly not bad in that regard. This impressive driver for me, for me, it's uh, what would it be? What would I pick? Hmm. Mm, it's difficult. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Lance Stroll. I'm gonna go go safe with this one. Um, Stroll had a lot of decent races in a row, and the one thing that's the most known thing about Lance's career is that his inconsistency just always creeps in. He just never he just can never maintain a good run of form over a long period and. I think this this track will be the change the changing one. He will absolutely get destroyed by Alonso. But I think that that team will still not do well, and I think Lance just will have a really bad weekend. Probably a few car few crashes alongside. Um, you never know. My uh, that was mine, and uh, Ajax is the most impressive. Sorry, most impressive. What is it? <laughs> Which one is it? Least impressive driver. Sorry, my apologies. Daniel Ricardo. Very, very good one. Uh, but I think this track is one of the that was one of Daniel's better ones. Like he, I, in, in the recent past, I think he's done well in any car he drove. Pretty much, uh, I think this this comes on as no no surprise. I think I think Daniel will actually do pretty well on this track. And uh, yeah, um, but. If it comes true, good for AJX. Never know about Daniel's form uh, when it comes to <laughs> Formula One at the moment. So yeah, uh, most impressive team for me is Haas. I think that's the team that's just pretty much built around straight line speed, uh, and this this track just this straight line speed. That <laughs> there's not that much other than straight line speed on this track, and I just I'm just gonna go with it. Um, most impressive team. Yes, and Ajaxus is Williams. A pretty likely one as well. Very solid one uh, over the past few years. Could be definitely the case. Most impressive driver for me is Dino Ricardo. This this goes simply this 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 is put simply as he beat he beats Sonoya in like both qualifying and the race. But basically, is this better driver? Which doesn't happen for well uh, didn't happen for the majority of, majority of this year. Uh, it was mostly on Sonoda's side. I think Daniel will have a good weekend after his not so great weekend at Zandvoort. And most impressive driver for HX is another 
Ajax, uh, sorry. Uh, for Alex, it's another Alex, yeah. Uh, Alex Alban, gang, who was a present driver for, for Ajax. Captain went safe with Alban, who's done well on this track in the recent past. Extra bold prediction. Extra bold prediction. Um, mine. Okay, I'm going to go with uh, Ajax's first. Um, Jimmy Antonelli confirmed for 20.5. Um, pretty simple. It's just that being announced this weekend, which, I mean, uh, what other weekend would that be announced on? I think this is pretty much confirmed and it's going to happen. I think this is not extra bold, but it's definitely not a prediction I would put my money on. But still, very likely one that happens this weekend. Even could happen today, even after the release of this video. So yeah, um, macro prediction. Mm. This will be debatable, and I will need Ajax to be in the reaction video um, for me in order to discuss it with him, because I think this will only be compared to the recent past of this track. I think the changes to this track will make the overtaking and racing in general better on this track and that's what i'm going with um just a lot of racing and a lot of overtaking and just generally a good race for the fans that's what i think for this track and uh yeah that's it for for the predictions so uh, hopefully it's gonna be an exciting weekend and thanks everyone who's been watching yeah see you next time bye